And good evening. We begin with shock among law enforcement officers after Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez shot himself in the head. There's now an interim top cop in place. As we learn more about the investigation, we have team coverage. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live outside the hospital in Tampa where Ramirez is recovering tonight. Janine. Law enforcement brass from all over right here in Tampa tonight for a conference over the weekend and yesterday there was a meet and greet. There was a reception and that is when all of this allegedly started. Ramirez right now in the hospital undergoing surgery. He is now out of surgery. The preliminary and I say preliminary investigation shows Director Ramirez suffered from a self inflicted gunshot wound. Shock waves through the law enforcement community. Miami Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez recovering in the hospital after police say he shot himself on the side of a highway Sunday night. Today is a tragic day in Florida. Ramirez was with top brass in this Tampa Marriott for a sheriff's conference when sources tell us he was seen and heard outside arguing with his wife and then shockingly pointing a gun in his mouth. Tampa PD was called to the Tampa Waterside Marriott about a possible domestic dispute. Tampa police say officers caught up with the couple in their room on the 12th floor. Ramirez reportedly stated he had no intention to harm himself or others. His wife said she did not have any concerns about her safety, but then the pair left, making their way down I-75. Shortly thereafter, he pulled off to the side of the road around mile marker 244. Sources tell us the director fired his gun into his temple. His wife was in the car and called 911. We have definitely been in contact with his family as well as his co-workers and uh, letting them know that whatever they need, all they have to do is ask. The director opened up to us in 2021 about the pressures of working in law enforcement and the resources now available that weren't there when he was a young officer, too afraid to ask for help. No, I wouldn't. I would not. I, I, as a young officer, I didn't, you know, most officers would have pictures of their kids in the dashboard. I didn't even have that. I'm very hopeful. I'm very thankful that this new generation learns from us elders and the mistakes that we made. So many questions about the details and the why. Once again, Ramirez initially was listed in critical condition. He underwent surgery. He is now stable. He is expected to survive. We're in Tampa. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.